The mansion on Huckleberry Hill is haunted! As a world-famous ghost hunter, you've been called here to rid the mansion of the evil which stalks it. One word of warning before you go. The ghost will get you if you don't get them first. Good luck. <laughs> I love that little intro and the instructions for this game. This is called Ghost Hunters from Arcade Plus. It's a game I played a lot of on my old Atari 100XL. Uh, I used to play the Pac-Man that was released for it, but when this came out, I tend to play this more than the Pac-Man game I had for my Atari 800. Maybe because I like the random mazes that it has. You also have the ability to play two people either head-to-head -head or, you know, cooperatively in here as well. So you got two Pac-Man kind of guys running around the maze. It's actually a lot of fun. Now, we can enter our initials, which I, I don't care about. What we're going to do, we're going to select what field here. We can select what screen we want to play. I'm going to put it on R, which is random. Right there, random. So once I complete this maze, I'll have another different maze pop up. So here we go. Let's see how badly I do. It's been a while. All right. Now another cool feature of this game is you can actually disappear for like five seconds. If a ghost is coming up on you, you can disappear and then reappear, but only do it once. For a uh, little pack guy you got there. The bonuses you get will actually let you build another little uh, Pac-Man guy. Oh, I'm doing really bad. I'm talking and not concentrating is what the problem is. Oh, there we go. I get this little piece up here. I can start to build another player. Disappear. Five seconds. Reappear. And die. <laughs> well, let's try that again. I can at least clear one maze. Go, little guy, go. Whoa. Come on up in here. Stupid. Oof. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Complete the maze. Yes! I've got a different maze to run around in. Game cons the, the game mechanic of actually building yourself another uh, player. That's that's really cool. This is a really good Pac-Man type game. Oh, I didn't despair long enough. Dang it. One more time. Let's do one more game. As you can see, I really like this game. I just recently rediscovered it on my Atari Max cartridge and I've uh, been playing quite a bit of it. It's a lot of fun. I mean, the two-player version is really good. One of the neat things about the two-player version is you, you can't pass through the other little Pac-Man dude. So he can actually block you. Oh, disappear. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes. Almost messed up on that one. Ah, uh, can we disappear one time? We'd have to have like a we actually had a power up that allow you to recharge your disappearing ability. 
That would be pretty cool. So I finish this off here. Oh, I missed the extra guy. There we go. There we go. An extra little guy piece there. I don't remember how many pieces you got to pick up to build an extra guy. I think it's three. him again. Oh! Should have used my disappearing ability. Oh yeah, two mazes cleared. Awesome, on a roll. Such a great game. Highly recommend giving it a try. It's it's a lot of fun. So if you got like an Atari 800 computer, an Atari Max, you know, download it ROM, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. Or if you're using an emulator, same thing. Really fun game to play. Anyway, thanks for watching.